the Saturday wrap. The Saturday wrap for Saturday, the 23rd of December, 2023. Uh, technical note, I have now switched back to the Logitech C920E because I think it does a slightly better job even though it is lower res. But let me know what you think. Anyway, back onto the subject and trying to keep it short. This is the Saturday wrap, a look back on my week that ends on Saturday the 23rd, the last one before Christmas. Yeah, I mentioned that word, but sometimes you have to. Anyway, so this is my week. These are my things. Uh, this is me moaning about them, uh, generally speaking. So, word or phrase of the week. Now, it's got nothing to do with Alan Parsons turning 75 years of age, and he was the one that recorded time, or the clocks at the beginning of it anyway. But the word is time i don't know where december's gone christmas has just it's there i mean i've done all the things that i need to do but it's just arrived and well actually i don't know where the autumn is and i have a feeling we will soon be into spring with a bit of luck but time is just and i know it's an age thing but this year has just gone bing and this christmas period has just gone bing as well uh, but there you go. Anyway, app of the week. Ties in with Christmas. Um, uh, buying plenty of booze presents for uh, various bits of the family and via top cashback. Um, uh, which immediately tracked, which is kind of a bit of a miracle. Um, but times are hard. If you're buying presents, see if they've got top cashback or quidco or something like that. Make some money back. If not, um, nectar points or um, maybe even club card points because you're going to need them. So there you go. Thing of the week. Now, I always thought that these were historical things. Christmas wreaths. You see them on postcards or Christmas cards, um, but you wouldn't see them about. And then last year, so one or two, now they are all over the place. They're all over the place in Bedwas. They're all over the place on Facebook. There's a lot of money to be made from these. And more interestingly, why don't people nick them? They nick everything else, like uh, Christmas lights up in Merthyr. But yeah, I like them. I think they're very good. I just wouldn't have one myself. And uh, the song of the week, although possibly not my favourite song, and you can guess what that one is, uh, Emerson Lincoln Palmer, a member of, um, but it's Christmas Wrapping by the Waitresses. Yeah, a bit of a classic. I really like it. Um, and it reminds me, well, of Christmas uh, and avoiding Christmas, etc., etc., etc. Anyway on to the week that was and from last week uh, errata i forgot to mention got the umbral working the umbral is probably now synchronized the full blockchain uh, for bitcoin um all i'm gonna have to remember is every so often just to reboot the thing uh, clear out the junk etc etc i've done that twice already so woke up on saturday morning horrible horrible cold you probably can tell from my voice that i'm a bit nasally anyway uh, i got up i got dressed uh, and i just crashed out all day sunday i was feeling a lot better monday i went into reverse gear um uh, no contact lenses in um and did i get pseudofed i think i did get pseudofed pseudofed for about two days uh, I go through coughing fits, it goes away, I wake up, I'm all right, it goes, it's lingering. So, a uh, plenty of uh, vitamin D3 and zinc. Um, get on with it. Because, yeah, at Christmas, it's a time for saying, oh, did you have this? I had that, it was terrible, it lingered, I couldn't get rid of it. Coughing fit, etc. But there you go. Sunday, um, hover for my .co.uk and .com. Uh, unless you tell them or you do it yourself, they don't move the DNS servers. So my domains were on Hover, my DNS servers were on GoDaddy, and I couldn't access them because the domains had gone. 
uh, apparently this is a thing with them. Uh, so I asked them, could I have my DNS servers in the same place as my domains, please? Thank you very much. They sorted it out. They were really good. Uh, um, but it took a while for me to work out what was going on, etc., etc. Um, and on Monday, contacted Squarespace. There will be a Squarespace website in the new year. Lots of information, lots of links. Um, there is a setup video which is about an hour long, which I intend to have a look at over Christmas. Uh, and there is a fortnight's free trial, various money off vouchers and things. And I believe even Top Cashback do some stuff with them. So, yeah, um, there will be a new rwnash.com or .co.uk or probably both. But there you go. And yeah, Monday, my nose was like a tap. And that is horrible. And it's also disgusting. And then your tissues fall apart and your nose becomes red. And yeah, no, etc. Uh, although I did manage to go out to lunchtime uh, with colleagues and certain colleagues from the past appeared. It was really good. It was really good. And they were Christmas beers. Really nice, etc. Um, a Tuesday, I've got Tuesday I had the Sudafed. I thought I had it on Monday, but who knows? Um, but I did get walnut whips from Aldi, a six pack, the true spirit of Christmas. If you get nothing else, because I have no satsumas, uh, get walnut whips. Um, Wednesday, um, uh, Belgian blue ale in spoons, um, brewed in Sheffield, not actually blue, but more sort of purple, very festive. I liked it, it was good. Thursday morning. X, the site no, recently known as Twitter, went down worldwide. Uh, I think it was down for about half an hour. Yeah, I think bringing back the fail whale may be a festive thing, but who knows? Um, and um, went over spoons with colleagues from the floor that I am on, and I had soup, and then I had a boneless chicken basket. I think I overdid it because I really felt like I could do with a siesta in the afternoon, but I made it through, etc., etc. Um, Black Friday in the tumble today, although wasn't quite as bad. Went over early with Gary, had some food. Um, I seem to be minus the peas, although I, I did mention it, and I had tons of peas. So Christmas, Black Friday, lots of garden peas. Put vinegar on them. Wishing you all a very Merry Christmas and a happy and um, happy and less bad New Year. Because 2023 has been a bit of a, a thing. Uh, let's say a financially viable New Year. Anyway, uh, comments on uh, how the pictures look. Um, uh, yeah. Oh, eight minutes. Bit long. Bye bye.